in this lecture let us try to create a family tree like this so we have already seen how to connect just using lines in the previous lectures so in this one we are going to use cubic curves to connect between circles or different nodes so this is the kind of family tree we are going to create and in this case we will not use hierarchical data instead we will be using plain data so let's see how we can do that to illustrate this i have already created a web page it is titled as family tree and added reference to the latest d3.js file now let me add the script section in this family tree example i am adding svg element using javascript okay in the previous example we have already added the element within body and here i am going to add the svg element using javascript so let me specify where svg equals so d3 dot select body then dot append svg and we have to set the width and height for this so let me specify dot attr width sorry it should be within double quotes attr width as say 600 and also height as 600 itself so height let the value be 600 and let me add a common g element within which we will add three separate g elements for the circle connection curve and also for the text so let me add dot append g and we can transform and translate it otherwise the first circle will not be visible completely right we have already seen it in the previous example so let me specify dot attr transform and i want to translate it 50 towards the right and 50 towards the bottom so we have added the svg element and also a common g element now let me try to provide the data so where data equals this time i'm not going to provide the data as hierarchical data instead i'm just going to specify an array of objects so within this i'm going to specify the parent and the child name okay so for the first one let the child be john which is going to be the root element and let me specify the parent as an empty string for this because for the very first root node we don't have any parent that is the main parent itself right so i have specified child as john and parent as an empty string like this i'm going to specify child parent relationship within this this is not a hierarchical data as we have specified in the previous example it was one then 1.1 and 1.2 as the children of that like that we have specified in the previous case right so here we are just specifying data as an array of objects if you parse data from a csv file this will be the format we get the data so i haven't specified csv parse here because we have already discussed it in another section so here i am providing the data as we get after parsing the csv file okay so child is john and parent is an empty string then let me copy this and paste it a couple of times to provide some data so one two three four okay i haven't added comma one two three then one more comma now let me specify two child names for john so let me copy this john from here and let me paste it here and here i'm just adding it randomly that is at random positions and let the first child name be kevin and the second one Anne. now for kevin let me specify two child names so let me copy kevin from here and paste it here and here and for kevin let me specify one child as aaron and another child as sarah you can specify the names as you want so here i have specified two child names for kevin that is aaron and sarah then the next child of john was Anne, and for Anne, let me specify two child names again so here let me specify Anne, and let the child name be say 
Hanna and another one here and let the child name be say Mark. So as of now John is having two child names they are Kevin and Anne. Then for Kevin there are two child they are Aaron and Sarah. Then for Anne there are two child names they are Hannah and Mark. Right. Next let me specify two child names for Sarah again. Okay. So for Sarah let me specify. So here I can specify Sarah and let the child name be say Rose and let me copy this once again and paste it here and specify for Sarah let the child name be say Angel. Okay. So this is the data we have. It is an array of objects. So previously what we have done we have passed the data to D3 dot hierarchy. But in this case as the data is not in hierarchical format we cannot directly pass it to D3 dot hierarchy of data. Instead we are going to use D3 dot stratify to convert this into hierarchical format. So what we can specify is that let me specify where data structure equals in the previous case what we have written we have written d3 dot hierarchy of data but this time we are going to use another function it is d3 dot stratify and we need to pass id and parent id for this so here the id is child and the parent id is there in parent so how we can specify dot id and i can specify function d return d dot child okay and then we have to pass dot parent id i should be capitals function d return d dot parent and then we have to pass this data so here i can specify data so like this we need to convert this into a hierarchical data format so previously we just had to specify d3 dot hierarchy of data here instead we need to use stratify function and get the id and parent id so here the id is child if we specify this as some other name it should be specified here suppose we specify name and parent then it should be d dot name and d dot parent but this id and parent id should be specified as such okay and we have passed the data. Now we have the data structure as in the previous lectures. So what we can do now? We can specify the tree structure. Tree structure equals d3 dot tree. And we have to specify the size within an array. Suppose we want to specify the size as 500 comma 300. We can specify like that. Then what should we write? Where information equals tree structure of data structure right we are passing the data to the tree structure then we can use the information that is information dot descendants and information dot links to display the data so for the time being let me just display console dot log information dot descendants you have to be careful then you type the spelling okay and also console.log information dot links right this will give the source and target information now let me save this and check the output let me try to get the console see there are nine node elements or names and eight connections next what we need to do we have to use this information this is john and we have the x and y values so we have to use this information to display the values as we want that is to draw the circles write the text and also to draw the connections so let's do that how we can do it it is same as before so let me first try to draw the circles so where circles equals svg dot let me append a g element within which we can add all the circles okay append g dot select all circle then dot data what should be the data 
it should be information dot this sentence right we have to draw the circle having x and y values as the center positions so this sentence then what should we do okay let me put a semicolon here circles dot enter dot append circle then we have to set cx cy and radius values so here dot attr of cx will be function d return d dot x then dot attr cy function d return d dot y and we also have to set the radius so dot attr r let me specify the radius as say 5 now let's check whether we are seeing the circles see we are just seeing the circles we are not able to identify which is which name or what is the connection etc but let us change the color here so let me add the style section and here let me specify circle and let the fill color be say blue now let me save this and show you see the color is now blue next what we can do we can either draw the connections or write the text let us try to draw the connections that is as cubic curves okay 